And what a great way to start us off. Don't move. Don't speak. Don't even blink. Coming up is a form of combat that personifies the concept of every man for himself. In a match that will be etched in the record books. All eyes are going to be watching. Byron, this certainly is a different Jimmy Uso than the one we became accustomed to just a few short years ago. And I gotta say, I prefer the old Jimmy Uso. And guys, you can bet there are plenty of superstars in the back crowded around the monitor for this one. Yeah, this really is an intriguing matchup, Cole, and the end result can very well trigger a domino effect on the rest of the roster. I can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxton would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. I'd like to point out just how focused these guys look here tonight. They really do, Michael, which makes me think we're in for one heck of a match here tonight. we have here to start off this night guys and Michael I had to check twice when I saw this match listed as our opener I mean it could very well have been our main event allow me to point out just how focused he appears to be here tonight I noticed the same thing Cole in fact it looks to me like he'll settle for nothing short of a victory here in this one Weighing in at 170 pounds, Kalisto! 
A big time battle royal here, guys. Who do you like in this one, Byron? Well, historically, you're safest when you put your money on the biggest superstar. But to be honest, I'm not sure. I can see any one of these competitors walking away with a win. Now let's not forget about his opposition who also comes into tonight looking to prove a point. Well, I should hope so, Cole. If you don't go into every single match looking to make a statement, then you're just wasting everybody's time. Guys, what better way to start the night off than with this one? I can't think of a better match to kick the night off, Michael. In fact, we haven't even gotten started yet, and I can assure you that this will be a tough match to follow. Well, he definitely looks fired up for this one, wouldn't you say, Corey? Yeah, he's definitely ready to get this one underway, Cole. He's not the only one. Would you listen to this crowd? Wow. As we get started here, tell me what's the best approach to take in a battle royal. Well, the first thing I would do is make some alliances and go after the biggest competitor. From there, I'd stay as far away from the ropes as possible. That's where all the trouble goes down. And the good news is that he appears to be coming into tonight with a little extra motivation. Yeah, and he's really had a chip on his shoulder as of late, and it seems to have been helping him. From San Francisco, California, weighing in at 228 pounds, Jay Uso. A member of the famed Anawaii family, here comes Jay Uso. Michael, it really is unbelievable that one family can produce so many top stars. Guys, this match will undoubtedly go a long way in determining just who is the most dominant superstar. That's what makes this match so great. These superstars clearly have a point to prove. Weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. The Brian Kendrick certainly appears to be in his own world here tonight. What else is new, Michael? And Byron, I would say these guys look more than ready to start this match. So is this crowd, Michael, and justifiably so. This one's going to be simply amazing. And here he is, the Japanese sensation, trying to put a sensational hurt on his opponent once again. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. Man, Jimmy Uso, what offense. Hideo Itami showing us how to get it done.
The flying forearm finds his target. Well, let's quickly get your opinion on Jimmy Uso. How do you see him getting it done here tonight? Oh, man, he better be ready for anything tonight. In a battle royal, you can get attacked from any direction from several attackers. You need two sets of eyes in there. It's important for him to keep a low profile early on here so he has the energy he'll need when it's time to make it down the home stretch. We may have discovered his favorite move. And a powerful forearm. He lands a jarring forearm. Oh, there's some good contact there by Jimmy Uso. Almost knocked silly by that strike. A skull-crushing Enziguri. Nice job by Jey Uso. Oh, the backbreaker does its job. Just toying with the competition a little. Kalisto's on the attack. Drop kick delivered with precision. Things not looking good for Hideo Itami, but not for a second do I expect him to back down now. But it's still a little too early to get overly concerned here. If you ask me, they both seem pretty even as far as health is concerned. Yeah, he's got something special brewing here. Jey Uso connecting there with a good shot. It starts to feel like a broken record with that move. Kalisto is putting on a performance here tonight. Wow, that overhand punch started down behind his feet and just kept coming. He's simply reminding him that he's here. He's showing some aggression with that elbow. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. Yeah, here's Hideo Itami. Might as well run for cover when Kalisto's rolling like this. Breathtaking acrobatics on display here. He lands the overhand. Jey Uso knows better than anybody that if you ain't taunting, you ain't trying. The frequent boom! That hurt. He needs to capitalize on it now. Did you guys feel that too? Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. That one was off the mark. Awful. Just plain awful. His head is taking an unbelievable amount of punishment here. Kalisto doing some damage. Oh boy, he is rolling. Jey Uso beginning to stumble. And at this point, you have to wonder if he could recover from this. He's taken on some damage, but so is his opponent. This match can go either way at this point. Man, Kalisto, what offense. That misses the mark. That wasn't even close, Michael. Lightning fast reflexes. Lands the elbow drop. Ain't no stopping him now. Unleashing it for the second time now. Some cockiness being shown here by Jay Uso. That strike hit the spot. There's no way he could have avoided that blow. Oh, Kalisto is in a tough situation here, folks. I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. Super kick! This is not where Kalisto wants to be right now. Momentum is fully in the corner of Jey Uso now. Oh, and a terrific work. Incredible! He finds himself in some big trouble here. He may very well be running on instinct right now. Well, on the plus side, he's not the only one in that ring struggling for air right now. Wow, Jimmy Uso just timed that perfectly.
Well, oh, there's some good contact there by Jimmy Uso. Look out. Quickly taken back down. And what a reversal from Jey Uso. And now one more time. Jimmy Uso is starting to take control of this match. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. Thank you for tuning in tonight. We're coming to you live from sunny Tampa on the west coast of Florida. And Jimmy Uso has done it. Here is your winner, Jimmy Uso. What a grueling victory here in this elimination match. Yeah, the performance put forth in that match tells me we're looking at somebody who will someday, very soon, be competing in the main event. What a way to kick off the night. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're just getting started. No rest for the weary. On to the next. Singles action coming your way. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have one of our breakout talents against an imposing adversary. He may be a gentleman, folks, but don't discount what Jack Gallagher can do inside the ring. You gotta love the way he competes with such class, Michael. From where I sit, he certainly seems more focused than perhaps I've ever seen him. He's got one tall task ahead of him here, that's for sure. From Air Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Noam Dar. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will. 
Tell me, Corey, do you like his chances here tonight? Well, it's hard to beat a person who never gives up. And I can tell you that he has absolutely no quit in him. So, yes, yes, I do like his chances. A superstar gets a certain feeling when he knows there's a strong possibility he may exit the match in a completely different condition than he entered. That's not exactly a comforting thought when it's your career. Guys, Tampa has such a rich history, and I know the competitors here tonight will do everything in their power to live up to that legacy. He slams him down with authority. Well, moves like that at this stage are not to win any match. It's, they're just used to send a message. He took an incredible pounding there. Hoping to end it early. And an early kick out. He just powered out there, Cole. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. He's one step ahead on that one. Quick pin attempt here. In a kick out, much to nobody's surprise. He's not giving up that easy. Putting it all on the line. He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. See if he takes the bait. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Look at it catch him off guard. An easy kick out there. Clearly not enough damage done. Ain't no stopping him now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked. Wham! I don't care who you are, that'll knock you out. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. This situation just got real bad for Noem Dar. Whoa, missed by a large margin there. Come on, how do you miss by that much?
Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. This, this should do it right there. Oh my God, he's done it. He's done it. Corey, I want to tell you something. This has been building for a long time, and it's finally going to break down right now, I think. You can really just feel the tension in the air. You're absolutely right. Everybody, I don't think we're going to have to wait much longer. No, not at all. He's going to take the fight right to him. The official trying to prevent this from happening, but this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad if it breaks down in the aisle way here. Let him fight. Let him fight now. Trash talking. Under there the right we go. Hand. And another one. And here we go now. Rights and lefts. Brawl underway. Here's security trying to separate these men. Let him fight. Let him fight now. Oh, my God. Hope the next match lives up to the hype of the rest of the card. Stay right where you are, people. And what a lineup on this card, starting with a bang. Singles match coming up next. When we return, it's a battle where the participants will need to know where they are at all times. It's Team Curtis Axel versus the Colognes. to the ring at a combined weight of 462 pounds the WWE Tag Team Champions Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas Byron are you at all surprised by the intensity level inside this arena right now not in the least bit Michael this is the one the WWE Universe has been looking forward to for quite some time
opponents. At a combined weight of 440 pounds, Epico and Primo, the Colons. Guys, this match is sure to not disappoint, especially considering who's involved here tonight. You're absolutely right, Michael. This match will be one we'll be talking about for a long time to come. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. Work is being put in by Curtis Axel. Strikes like that can end this one in a hurry. And now he goes for it a second time. For some competitors, part of their strategy is to demean their opponent. A move like that says it all. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. By the looks of things, I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here tonight. That's a great example of teamwork right there. This is some great offense by Primo. Man, that got him good. He landed a perfectly placed strike. That'll send a message to your adversary, all right. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Dallas starting to falter now and you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now It's no secret that quick tags lead to success in the tag team division And I'd say the quicker he can make that tag here the better their chances of winning will be You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in it He misses the mark he might need glasses, Cole. His eyesight is clearly compromised. Plenty of downward thrust on that elbow drop. He wants to do this in the ring. One offense, both Dallas is showing at this point. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. That'll make your heart beat. Knocked off his feet. Now that's a takedown. Comes up big with a reversal. He'd better hope his stamina lasts. No! Oh, swinging neck breaker. That has got to be it. This could do it. A win like that says a lot about a duo.
Here are your winners, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Curtis Axel helping catapult the team to victory. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. Let's keep the action rolling along. Triple threat action coming up next. Up next, we're going to see someone defy the odds. It's triple threat action. Remember, the first superstar to get a pinfall or submission is the winner. Let's do it. Here comes the A-lister, folks. I think you mean self-proclaimed A-lister. I don't think I remember the last time he looked this motivated, guys. That's a scary thought, Cole. Even before tonight, I don't think I've seen too many superstars more motivated than him. Tyson Kidd making his way to the ring. There's no denying this is a big match for Kidd. And I'd add that he certainly has his work cut out for him here tonight. Would you agree, Byron? Yeah, this isn't going to be easy for him, that's for sure. But he knew that when he signed up for this match. Guys, we have triple threat action coming up as three of WWE's top superstars are set to square off. And Michael, I can realistically envision any one of these three competitors having their hand raised in victory here tonight. And here we go with this triple threat match. Well, we're looking at three of WWE's best going at it head to head to head in what promises to be an amazing match. Lafayette certainly seems fired up for this one, guys. He delivers a crushing neck breaker. Oh, there's the DDT. What do you think about The Miz? Here we go in this triple threat match. What can he do to get the best of the other two superstars in there? 
One thing's for certain, we're going to see what he's made of here in this triple threat match. The Miz with the offense. Check out Roger Strong's offense. We might be looking at a black eye after that one. Taken out with a Russian leg sweep. The upper body absorbing a great deal of pain here. Just making his presence felt there. I don't think Tyson Kidd is looking so great right now. He can't rest on his laurels here. There are two other guys in there that want this match just as much as he does. He's certainly in a tough spot here, guys, but there's still plenty of time. Plus, it's not like his opponent is running away with this thing. Well, at least not yet, anyway. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. He wants no part of the outside. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He'd be smart to stay put there. Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. He's looking good now, guys. The Miz is on the attack. Skull crushing finale. Here's his chance to win this. And he goes for the pin. Three, no, a kick out just in time. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Oh, the reversal by The Miz. And he goes down hard. Yeah, and I think he might have slipped a little too. He clearly did his homework heading into tonight. Looking for a little breather here, maybe. Slowing things down, I like it. Good game plan. A kick right to the gut. He's inflicting some serious pain here. And he's heading back in. Counters that one. He just tosses him without an ounce of remorse. The man is looking a little stunned here. But things can change in an instant in a triple threat match. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand very quickly. He is a one-man gang in there. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. Boom! Must come down. Nobody does it quite like him. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. He's not looking good here, Byron. No, he's got to get up, and he's got to get up now. And Kid fights out of the cover. He's not giving up that easy. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. And Byron, he's still down after that one. Yeah, that did some big-time damage, Michael. Nice job by The Miz. The face and head are taking a great deal of punishment here. Ain't no stopping him now. Few superstars are as dominant as this guy. Check out Roderick Strong's offense. He misses on that one. Were his eyes even open? Just a brutal backbreaker right there. This might be the end of the road for him, Byron. Well, if he can't get back to his feet, you're absolutely right. Oh, did you hear his back crack?
He's taking a long time to get up, guys. Perhaps playing a little possum here, Cole. You'd have to think hitting the finisher here could end this thing. This could be it for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. And this has got to be it. One. Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Oh, and he hits the axe handle. Not where he wants to be right now. Yeah, you're not going to win many matches when you're down. Oh, and he reverses it. What does The Miz have to do at this point to stay in this match? His chances of winning this triple threat match are starting to dwindle. You'd have to think he came into this triple threat match with a plan. And I think it's safe to say that that plan has gone awry. Guys, at this point, I'd be shocked if his opponent is able to complete this comeback. Nicely executed. Headed to the outside now. Smart move. Take some time to think thick. There's the pin. Ken is upon a kick out. Whoops, that missed. That's putting it mildly, Cole. And he gets him with the counter. Tyson Kidd is just so confident in his ability. Reverses that one. Nice job by the Miz. Whoops, not even close. What was he thinking? He's still not moving, guys. He might be out, Cole. And just like that, this move is leading the charge. There's the cover. Can he do it? Oh, how resilient was that? Wow, what's it going to take? Yeah, he's operating at a level few can match right now. The Miz is really starting to turn it up. Tyson Kidd gets out of that one. Nice move. The Miz with a nice reversal. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Nobody does the cloverleaf quite like him. Fighting for survival. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. are doing it right now. They've got to be... This could do it. One! Two! You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. Just when you thought it was over. Wow! Momentum's firmly in his corner now. This one's over, guys! Byron, he may be down for good. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Not after the beating he's taken. There he goes to the outside. Remember, though, there are no timeouts in WWE. Great effort, but he'd better save something for later in the match. He thinks he has it. One, two, kick out at the last moment. Wow, I thought this was over. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. That's what he was looking for, Michael. Two! Great offense by The Miz. He's lining him up. Skull crushing finale! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Going for it again. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking shoulders down. This could be it. Two. There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. Here is your winner. The Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Three men stepped into this match, but only one will be leaving victorious.
And that's this guy. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match. Always one step ahead. The next match has all the makings of a great one. Singles action on tap right now. And what a great way to start us off. Singles match on tap next. Now don't go anywhere. We have a classic coming up. We have a real fan favorite versus Tyson Kidd. This is going to be amazing. Making his way to the ring from Manchester, England, weighing in at 167 pounds, Gentleman Jack Gallagher. He may be a gentleman, folks, but don't discount what Jack Gallagher can do inside the ring. We gotta love the way he competes with such class, Michael. Also, guys, I would say that competing on Christmas has to be a tremendous thrill. I can't speak for what it's like to be in the ring, but I can tell you it's an absolute blast to be here at ringside on such a special evening. From Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 204 pounds, Tyson Kidd. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. And guys, I hope Santa was good to you this morning. Oh, he's always good to me, Cole. Though I'm pretty sure Saxton ended up with Cole in his stocking.
This is it, guys. We're ready to get this match going. And, man, I never get tired of watching these guys compete. We've got trouble here, guys. Looks like somebody came into tonight ultra-motivated. He's showing absolutely no pity now, guys. Look at it. Bam! I don't care who you are. That'll knock you out. Tyson Kidd got the worst end of that stick. Let's talk about Tyson Kidd for a moment. I can't wait to see his plan of attack. What do you expect from him? You know, you don't get this much, but right now, I see someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Well, some superstars thrive in this big spotlight, and some wilt. We'll see which one he is real soon here. The reversal. He's really taking over this match now. And boom! What a drop kick by Gentleman Jack. Here's his moment, Michael. The cover, and this one's history. What a win! What a victory tonight. He's going to remember this one for a long, long time. Now he's going to soak it in. Soak in the... No, wait a minute. What the... Oh, a kendo stick. He's going to remember this for a long time for a different reason. And now talking trash. Message sent. Loud and clear. One match is in the books, and we're on to the next. Singles action on tap right now. We have a triple threat matchup coming up next. Jey Uso's going to have his work cut out for him tonight, guys. Yeah, but it looks to me like he brought his A game, Cole. And before we go any further, I'd like to extend a very Merry Christmas to our WWE Universe watching at home. Ah, oh, I echo those sentiments, Michael. And I hope that Santa was good to everybody out there. Even you, Corey. I hope he brings you Cole, Byron.
his opponents. First, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz. The self-proclaimed A-lister making his way to the ring now. You can drop that self-proclaimed bit, Cole. There's no denying that The Miz is about as A-list as it gets. And before I forget, allow me to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas. You know, I can't help but wonder what I did wrong to have to be spending Christmas sitting next to you two. Looks like we're ready to kick this thing off. Settle in, guys. This is going to be a blast to watch. Music City is geared up and ready to go for this one. This match should be great. And he delivers a knee. Just making his presence felt there. As the action continues, let's discuss Jay Uso briefly. Tell us, what do you think we can anticipate seeing from him in this one? Jay Uso has Hall of Fame blood coursing through his veins. When you come into a match with that kind of pedigree, you're already inside the head of your opponent. There's just no way around it. Well, he's trained all his life to be here. It's either going to pay off or not. We'll see real soon. Flattens him with a clothesline. Whoa, what a chop. seen and heard tonight there must be serious injuries some miscues from Jey Uso here this is a dangerous spot for him to be here in this triple threat match the dangers of this triple threat match appear to have escalated quickly on him and this has all the makings of getting out of hand fast he better be careful he's certainly in a tough spot here guys but there's still plenty of time Plus, it's not like his opponent is running away with this thing. Well, at least not yet, anyway. Look at Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. But did he go for it too early? Momentum is fully in the corner of The Miz now. He's in a tough spot here, Corey. And if he doesn't get up, it's going to get a lot tougher. He clearly did his homework heading into tonight. Bringing it back between the ropes.
now with authority. The Miz is on the attack. He's taking a long skull crossing finale. He's back in control here. Yeah, you don't see a slant. His shoulders are down. The Miz wins. Here is your winner, The Miz. Big pinfall victory here tonight. And you know there are guys in the back right now hoping they never have to cross paths with this guy. What a match. And a quick thank you to everybody for spending part of their Christmas with us here at the WWE. And now it's time for the match we've all been waiting for, our main event. Don't go anywhere. Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Singles action coming your way. We have a great match coming up next. It's The Miz versus Tyson Kidd. Let's get this party started. We have one-on-one -on -one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. And guys, I hope Santa was good to you this morning. Oh, he's always good to me, Cole. Though, I'm pretty sure Saxton ended up with Cole in his stocking. Now look at this. And before the match could even begin, we have a brawl on our hands. Wow, that's a heck of a holiday present for the WWE Universe. Doing some serious damage with a side slam there. It looks like we're ready to do battle here, guys. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. And guys, there is an undeniable big fight feel in the arena tonight. 
Looking to catch him off guard. And a quick kick out from The Miz. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Look out. What do you think about The Miz? How do you see him getting it done here tonight? Like his entrance theme says, say goodbye to the good old days, guys, because it looks to me like The Miz came to play tonight. Logan to cripple him with a neck breaker. The Miz showing how A-listers do things out there. Six. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to count it out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. Tyson Kidd starting to crack a bit here. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve than just about... Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. There is no coming back from that one. Tyson Kidd got the worst end of that stick. He's making a statement. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. No, he reverses it. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Miz with a nice reversal. Putting it all on the line. Incredible! Oh, he turns it around. Ain't no stopping him now. And it's reversed. The Miz looking a little stunned here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. This is exactly the opening his opponent was looking for. It wasn't easy to find, but hey, he found it. Finally. Tyson Kidd gets out of that one. Nice move. To the outside now. Perhaps looking to gather his thoughts. Wow, an A-list knee strike by The Miz. Will he be victorious? The pinfall and the victory. Here is your winner, The Miz. Wow, now that's a commanding win. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. What a match, and a quick thank you to everybody for spending part of their Christmas with us here at the WWE. These fans are hoping the next match is as entertaining as the last. Next up, triple threat action.
Looking at this card, I just got to rub my hands together and smile. Singles match on tap next. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. A championship match, what we've all been waiting for. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Here comes Jack Gallagher, a competitor who opened a lot of eyes starting back at the Cruiserweight Classic. Yeah, admittedly, I didn't know much about Jack Gallagher prior to the Cruiserweight Classic, but now there's almost no way of overlooking his talent. And the latest rankings have him sitting in the number two spot overall. Look out, guys. It's only a matter of time before he finds himself as the number one contender. Here comes Tommaso Ciampa, a man who became a megastar on the independent scene before coming to WWE. Yeah, but he's in the big leagues now. Let's see what he can do in the WWE. And before I forget, allow me to wish everybody out there a very Merry Christmas. You know, I can't help but wonder what I did wrong.